Hello and welcome to Penguin TV. It is recorded by George Eflis, a.k.a. Wiffy Penguin, and you can follow me on Twitter at Wiffy Penguin. Penguin TV is hosted by PureMTGO.com and sponsored by MTGOTraders.com. Get an 8% discount off all orders over $50 when paying with PayPal or credit card. And you can check out KeepYourGames.com and get an extra 20% off when trading paper for digital. Enjoy the videos. Hello everybody, we're back for round two of the Mercady and Masks block pre-release. Uh, we have lost the die roll, and our opponent is choosing to play last. So let's, let's get going. Got a waterfront, a waterfront bouncer to uh, start the game with, seems alright. As well as having a nice even distribution of lands. Unfortunately, we do need to get to five lands before we can start throwing them away to our spell shapers. And we're kind of laggy. We would like to be able to play our mountain. Alright, and we're back. And we drew a glowing anemone. So that's going to let us uh, put him behind a little bit. Not a tremendous amount, but any little bit of tempo will help. And if nothing else, we can throw him away. Brainstorm away, Akira 0442202. All right, blue, black. Hey, and there's our fifth mana, which seems seems all right. All right, so he's playing three colors. Let's bounce his island. And we're going to bring the beats with our 1-1s. One -ones. Go 1-1s, one -ones, go 1-1s. One -ones. Uh, next turn we're going to throw down Gerard's regulars and attack for 7. Alright, what do we get to see that you discard? Little benefit of glowing an enemy. Oh, a flowstone thopter, eh? And now it looks like we can just sit back and control the flow of the game with our spell shapers and the rethink that we drew. Okay, so Viceling doesn't do anything.
And we're going to leave back um, our counter spell. We have lethal on board. And there we go. Game one in the books. Um, I don't think we want a sideboard. He's playing a pretty... It looks like a slower deck. Let's see, what might we want to take out? We might want to take out this Chimeric Idol. He may not fit with what we're trying to do here. He was playing red. Cavern Crawler seems okay. So yeah, we'll we'll roll with this. Got a little bit of fat in here. Help us get our job done. Alright, on to game two. Good luck there. And I will keep. I've got an easy card to pitch to the waterfront bouncer right off the bat. Oh, and he chose to play first this time? Oh, what a good time to draw this Kieran Archive. <coughs> Let this uh, guy develop some counters for us for the next few turns. We have the five mana to turn it on. Oh, and he's shy again? He is not going to like our glowing anemone. If we draw another island, we can start... We can keep him on three lands for a while. Chris Mage seems all right. Let's go ahead and just uh, kill the Chris Mage right off the bat. Or no, let's let's bounce the Chris Mage. Maybe we can get a two for one with our volcanic wind. Um, all right, 
so let's attack with everything. And kill the Chris Mage. Okay. I will certainly play Bounce the Wrathy Fiend. Drawing a stinging barrier is pretty nice, though. Oh, well, there goes my Kieran Archive. I wonder what I lost. Ah, Viceling. Here we're gonna throw away the rethink. We can get a two for one with Volcanic Wind next turn. And that's uh, round two. I guess I'll see you guys for round three. Oh, unless he has uh, the cave in. Yep, that'll do it. So I'm curious what these cards were. I guess we'll never know. Uh, I'll see you guys for round three.